All right. Uh, this is uh, the name of the film is Gook. Yeah, I have a hard. Time. I know. Don't you feel kind of weird saying it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. it, it does. It's uncomfortable. I've it's been hearing it all this whole time. This yeah. Whole time at the festival. Yeah. It's uh, it is hard to say. Uh, the director is uh, Justin Chong. And uh, we have two of the actors, Curtis Cook Jr. and Simone Baker, with us. Uh, Justin is the director, writer, and actor of the film. And uh, this is a, a movie about Koreans and uh, two Korean brothers. And Justin, you're K Korean, are you? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. Korean. So you, you can name your movie that if you want. <laughs> well, you know, let me explain it. I mean, gook, yeah. gook in the Korean language means country. It doesn't, there's no derogatory term. Really? And it, yeah, yeah. And it's not, uh, I mean, I first heard that word in connection with Vietnamese people. It was actually it started before that in the Korean War. Oh, did it? Okay. So, you know, uh, you know, when the soldiers came, they would say, me gook, like me gook, me gook, me gook, and that means America. So, ah. actually, me yeah. gook means beautiful country. And I don't know why they would tell, turn that around. So and are you trying to take it back? Or it's our word. Yeah. It still means country in our language. And we, we you know, we say migu, kangu, you know, yonggu. Mm -hmm. Those are all names of countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know why we should have that word turned against us. It's our word. Well, it happens, doesn't it, Curtis? Isn't that how problems get fixed when people finally understand what the root of it is? Like, that makes sense to me. Like, people just need to understand that, yeah, this actually means this. We don't need to be ignorant anymore. Like, mm -hmm. and then that helps us to fix some other stuff. I, I demystify, demystify, and, yeah, take care of it. Uh, so this is, uh, well, you tell the story. Uh, you wrote the, wrote Gook. Tell the story of the movie a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's about two Korean-American brothers running their late father's women's shoe store. Uh... And what the film is really about is their friendship with the neighborhood 11-year-old African-American girl. It's set... S Simone. Yes, Simone, the most beautiful, wonderful actress on earth. She's um, about as cute as anything yeah. could be, too. Yeah. Yeah. She's all um, sun danced out, too, with her yeah. fur. <laughs> but uh, a, a really important aspect of this film, it's set during the first day of the L.A. riots. And it's the 25th anniversary this year of the, of the Rodney King verdict. So it was set 25 years, the movie is 25 years ago. Uh, and Simone is a little girl who is somehow fascinated uh, with this shoe store and these uh, two brothers. Yeah, and uh, they have a family connection that you find out in the film. It, ah, uh, don't give a, that's kind yeah. of a giveaway, isn't it, a little well, bit? But I mean, they're, they no, have, they're, they're connected in more, more ways than one. And you, Curtis, you play uh, her brother. Yep, I play Keith. Keith. And he and you are not happy with her hanging out with these two Koreans. Hey, man, someone had to be the boogeyman, and uh, I gladly <laughs> took the role, man. I gladly took the role. Yeah, well, like we said, we're not going to give away too much of the movie, but there's a connection between our two families. Uh, and because of the way it turned out, I turned out to feel the way that I feel. Do you, do you know about the connection of the families when the movie begins? When the movie begins? Um, actually, do I remember it? You do. Yes, you yeah. do. You do. You do. Okay. So you and you just want to keep her away from them. Mm, yeah. Uh, I, I feel like we need to make our family stronger in whatever way I'm thinking about it, you know, and you, you're going to have some opinions about that when you watch it. But I, I want to keep it inside because some mm -hmm. things have happened to make us close ourselves off. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, yeah. what is it? Uh, let's talk to Simone. Uh, what uh, as your character, what is it about the shoe store and the and the two uh, brothers that you find your character finds so fascinating? Well, I think that the shoe store is really... A little closer. I think the shoe store is really important to me because, um, well, I kind of wanted to... Since my mom worked there and she died there, it's kind of like a... <laughs> it's kind of like a memorial for me, like to... Uh -huh. Oh, you feel close to her there. Yeah, yeah. I feel close mm -hmm. to it. And it, it just makes me feel better to <laughs> hang out with them. They m treat me like... Family. <laughs> that's okay. We'll just pass that. Yeah, like that. that's okay. <laughs> that's, no, that's good. Uh, and uh, and you like the shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you were going for there. It's about the shoes, right? Do you like the shoes? Yeah, the shoes are good. <laughs> yeah. What is, uh, how come, why a shoe store, Justin? What? Uh, so some background. Uh, my family owned a business in East Compton uh, during the riots, and we got looted, and we had a shoe store. We had, a, we had athletic shoes, but this... This film, we have a women's shoe store. And it's just weird. Two dudes <laughs> trying to run like this yeah. women's shoes, trying to sell high heels and pumps. It's just, 
two it's Korean kids and two Korean brothers in yeah. Compton selling so women's shoes. Selling fancy shoes. Uh, now, you seem too young to remember much of that. Did, did uh, you rely on family stories for no, it? No, I remember it very You clearly. remember it. You yeah, do. I was 11. Oh, 11. Uh, my dad was uh, there. He was one of the guys on the roofs with a, with a gun protecting his store. I remember that. Um, yeah, and uh, I remember it very vividly. And, you know, it was really, thinking back now as an adult, it was really weird because I it didn't really scare me it just looked it just seemed like it was just something that was happening and the thing that I was worried about is oh man my dad's there we I was watching the TV being like oh my dad is there and what does this mean for our family do we have to move what what is you know I was just mm-hmm. confused so was what did what did happen did you, the we got we got looted we didn't have to move but um you know it was a tough time mm-hmm. yeah. did your dad was your dad from Korea he was first generation Yes, he Im- immigrated uh, to the U.S. in '79. So he was there uh, in the when the war was going on in Korea. Uh, he's, he was born right after the war. Right after yeah. the war. So. I, it just must be weird to be an immigrant to to America and then be caught up in in some kind of a a, a war in America. Yeah, you know, and also like to the fault of the Koreans as well. I mean, you know, everybody was at fault. Nobody was right. Everybody was wrong. They didn't. They they had no. There's no education, no support system. So they came into these communities. They didn't assimilate. Mm-hmm. They didn't become a part of the community. And they were just making money in their communities. So of course they're resentful. Mm-hmm. And then you know they, they're in their neighborhoods. They're making money off of them, and they treat you know. And it was a common thing. You know, you guys saw in like men's society or whatever. Yeah. Like they walk around and they follow them around the store. So, you know, it was a lose lose for everyone at that at that time. Did uh, did you film in Compton? We filmed in Gardena, which is right right next to Compton. We had half night shoots, and we also have an 11 year old. <laughs> we so did Compton, though. Yeah. We did Compton one night, right? Huh? We did Compton. We did Compton, but uh, but uh, most of the shoot was in Gardena. Did uh, the name of the movie, by the way, is Gook. It's here at the Sundance Film Festival. Uh, we have Justin Chong, the director, with us. Uh, we also have an actress in the film. She plays kind of the central character, 11 year old. Uh, Simone Baker and uh, Curtis Cook, uh, principal actor in the film who plays Junior. Her brother. Uh, excuse Junior. me. Junior. Got to say Junior. You got it. Because oh. his dad, <laughs> Curtis Cook, Google him. You'll look him up and you'll go, oh, that guy. Actually, go check him out on Sundays, man. Go check out Roxanne, Roxanne. You'll like his oh, performance. Cross, cross yeah. promo. He's in that in that right now. Now you're, you'll you'll see him and you'll go, oh, I've seen him in about a million TV shows and movies, movies and stuff. Uh, so uh, it, was it? Uh, how was it filming in those neighborhoods as as you try to recreate the story? And have the neighborhoods changed much? They've changed a great deal. It's a lot safer than it used to be. Um, but you know, we we filmed on Crenshaw and we got hit up by gang members because we were on the street and they asked what we were doing there. They said we shouldn't be there. We have to leave, so we left. Um, you know, while we were shooting one day, like people would just walk onto set. <laughs> like off the street, and they was trying to buy shoes, yo. They was trying to buy <laughs> shoes, <laughs> brother. <laughs> well, sell them some damn shoes. <laughs> needed those shoes, bro. We needed those shoes. Trust. Oh, it was a, it's a, just a kind of a weird little side note. Uh, so you're selling. Uh, so you got a shoe store from 25 years ago. Did you have? Did you go find shoes that were looked like they were 25 years uh, from 25 years ago? And was uh, that hard to do? <clears throat> yeah, I mean we we tried to. You know, we try to try to uh, find shoes that were closer to that time period look, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I know. just I don't know. It just seems like it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's pretty difficult because they don't. A lot of that stuff is discontinued. Oh, sorry. Shout out to our shout out to our production designer, uh, Rocky Sharon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sharon. Uh, she did a wonderful job finding all that. We awesome don't know how job. she did it, but she did it. Simone, have you done much acting before this? Mm, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> do, what do you, do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> anything more? Anything more for you since uh, since this movie? You're gonna do more? Oh, yeah. Oh, tell them about. Let's go. Your what have you? Yeah. What, what? Do you got? Well, I was on AHS. American Horror Story. American Story. Horror Stories. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. How was Jeez. that? It was. It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Cool. You were cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think you are cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's called Gook, uh, and uh, you can. S- There's still opportunities to uh, see it. You've had. Have you? Have you had a screening so far? We've had two. Yeah, and how'd it go? Amazing. Mm-hmm. Really great. Um, we got a really wonderful review from The Hollywood Reporter. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. So, uh, who are your Korean uh, actors? Uh, 
Uh, so that's the interesting part. Is uh, uh, one is a stand-up comic named David So, um, yeah. and we did a bunch of uh, rehearsal to get him ready for the film. And then the other guy is my dad. Oh, your really? dad? My real dad. Right? He, wow. My dad. My dad was. Uh, a child actor uh, in Korea. He was like the Macaulay Culkin of the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, now I gotta look him so up. So he goes yeah. from being the Macaulay Culkin of Korea to <laughs> on top of because a he got married. Yeah, yeah, because he married my mom, and my yeah. mom's parents, they were like, "You're not marrying an actor. It's too unstable." So he quit, and then he moved to the U.S. with my mom. Is You're gonna sell Sang? shoes. Sang is his Sang name? Chan, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, so how would and you, you coach the stand-up comic, and then your dad? What was was it? Cool for your dad to act again after all those years. Uh, like he's it? grumpy. He's a grumpy dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a, you know, he had all these stipulations. You know, it took me three months to convince him. He said no night shoots. I'm like, what? Half the film is at night. <laughs> you know, um, he wears a toupee, <laughs> and I was like, you got to take that off. I mean, you can't, you can't wear that in the film. He's like, his clothing, he look, you know, it's just period perfect. He's like, he's kind of tries to be a classy man, and I'm like, nah, no. you're gonna look ghetto. No. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it, it was really interesting because once we stepped on set and actually, he treats me like I'm his subordinate. Mm -hmm. But once we, it was really interesting to see, I got to see his process. And once he stepped on set, he was really professional, took notes great. You know, he wasn't like trying to run the show or anything. He was yeah. phenomenal. It was, it was really cool to see how he worked, caring about his past. It was, mm -hmm. for me, it was cool seeing how he worked because he, he got straight into it each time. I was like, how is he doing it that well? It was just so natural to him. And I was like, After yeah. 40 years. He hadn't acted in 40 years. Man. That's great. And then how about your dad? Is your dad uh, Curtis Cook Sr.? Has he seen your performance? And yeah, he came out on a premiere night. Um, and, uh, yeah, he loved it. I mean, we had our moment, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we haven't I talked have about it yet, though. a picture of uh, you guys with your dads. Uh, yeah. Is that there? Uh, yeah. Is that ours? Yeah, that's us. Yeah. The two of you it's with, adorable. with your respective fathers. <laughs> cool, yeah. Both, you know, you know, your I said before, your father Curtis Cook is a good-looking guy. Your dad's a good-looking yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's He's a, a little man. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little man, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can too. I can empathize with that. <laughs> right. Or identify at least. Well, uh, there's there's still as of this recording still three opportunities to see the film. It's uh, Wednesday at 9:45 p.m. at the Broadway Center Cinema 3. Thursday the 26th at 11.30 a.m. Prospector Square, and Friday, January 27th, 6.15 at the Library Center Theater. Uh, very nice talking to you guys. Nice to meet you. It's called Gook. Uh, great luck with it. Uh, we have uh, Justin Cho Chone, uh, Simone Baker, and Curtis Cook, Jr. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us.